Welcome back. The NRC, Nuclear Regulatory Commission, and Entergy, the owner of Indian Point, one of the most controversial power plants in this country, you know that if you watch the show with any regularity, they just faced a setback, and that's thanks to the guy to my right, Richard Brodsky. Federal Appeals, Appeals Court reversed a lower court ruling on the NRC's responsibility to inform the public before exempting the power plant from health and safety requirements. The exemption, which was challenged by Mr. Brodsky, dealt with fire safety. NRC rules require that the electric cables that control the reactor shutdown in case of emergency have fire insulation that lasts an hour. But when tested, insulation at the plant lasted a lot less than that. So instead of requiring energy to upgrade the insulation to meet the one hour requirement, the NRC just decided give them an exemption and lower the requirements to 24 minutes without any public notification. All right, this isn't just about that though, right? Uh, this is about transparency. This is about the, the way in which the NRC has secretly evaded and drove holes into its own rules and not told anybody. So we don't really know what the protections are. If you think you can rely on the NRC's published rules for why a plant is safe, you can't because they issue exemptions and they do it in secret. We said, look, bad enough that you're doing it, but if you're going to do it, tell the public, let the public comment, and let the, and, 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 and consider the public comments. Can I just give a broader thing? Regardless how, and people, and good and decent people can disagree about whether the plant should be relicensed, if it's good or bad, nuclear energy, even broadly after Fukushima. That's not what my point I'm trying to make. The public has a right to expect the government, in this case the federal government, to be its watchdog on things certainly as significant as nuclear energy. And an impartial observer can look at the NRC and say, they're not, their first priority is not public safety. Their first priority often is the preservation of nuclear plants from the makeup of who is there in King of Prussia to everything else. That's not an unfair you, statement, you put right? put your finger on it in, 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 in exactly the right way. Because if whether you're anti-nuke or pro-nuke, you need a credible regulator. You need some of the public can say, all right, we, we like it, we don't like it, but we trust that there's someone in charge who's watching out for us. When they do this stuff in secret, they lose the ability to tell the public we're, we're watching on your side. Bad enough that they do it, and I think they do it illegally. I lost that part of the case, but at least do it. What do you think you might find out now, now that they've got to open up the books? Well, that there are literally thousands of these that have turned the regulatory structure into Swiss cheese. And th if that's the case, which I think it is, then you uh, can no longer be able to trust the representation of the NRC that nuclear plants are safely run and we're checking in on them on a regular basis. Do you think this will impact the relicensing issue? Uh, I think in the end it's, it's part of it because, interesting enough, Andrew Cuomo, when he was Attorney General, gave us a, a, an amicus brief in support yep. of our position. Um, I think he's seriously going to try to close the plant. I think he's right. I think it's going to be part of this left-wing progressive agenda and everything but economics. Mm -hmm. And yes, I think this case will help him make the case that the plant is too dangerous to allow it to continue. And when are you going to find out? When do, when do you get the information turned over to you? Well, that, that they, they may be able to appeal this to the yeah. Supreme Court. I mean, I, I hope you'll be down there covering that Absolutely. day in Washington. The, 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 this is not over as litigation. Oh, my God. <laughs> okay. Talk about a picture. Look at you this. Know what? The uh, Anthony <laughs> Scalia of the moderate <laughs> middle. <laughs> you didn't even say anything in years ago. All right. When we come back here, baseball had a big day today, um, and uh, without anybody getting the Hall of Fame, some of the biggest stars, certainly of this generation, um, shut out of the Hall of Fame. Not one person got in, and when you see the class that got turned away, that says something. We'll talk about that after this.